Uh-oh. There you go, a little help. Here it is, my son's Lightning McQueen with new pneumatic wheels. In the past, we tried using the little uh, inner tube situation over the um, those hard plastic wheels that seemed to not get any kind of grip, so I was done with that because they only lasted a little while, and now it has, they're actually not pneumatic wheels or tires, but they're, um, they're solid rubber that are meant for a hand truck, so. Okay, so for the front wheel setup, as you can see, there is a long shaft offset that goes to the inside, and then the outside is a flush mount. So the existing spindle, I ended up um, threading the uh, outer spindle and putting a nylon stainless nylon lock nut on the end of it with a washer and what you're seeing on the sh spindle itself is one of these sleeves I picked it up out of uh, a suspension kit that we did for a Chevy pickup a while back so anyways this was cut down to the width of the spindle itself and it's sleeved on there so what you're seeing is the original outer section of the spindle from the uh, Power Wheels car. And then the inside section where this actually spins on has this cut down, slid inside. There's a back washer here. And the neat thing is it has little Zerk fittings on it. So you can pump the bearings. They've got nice little roller bearings on there. So, spins nice and smooth. So anyway, so that was done to both sides. On the back, this section is what slides inside the electric motor and it's got a flat flange. The original wheel setup had little grooves on the back of the wheel, the plastic uh, molding, which s fits inside these little grooves. So what I ended up doing is I took the same wheel, um, there's, all four of these wheels are the exact same, but I ended up welding a, uh, a metal flange on the back and then I tap threads inside the flange, set a spacer washer, a washer on this side and bolted them on. So there's four bolts on there. Also has a zerk fitting in it. Same here. And then again this is essentially what would be a full float axle. It's the same original axle that was in there. Again I tap threads on the end and has the same metal sleeve. So without this piece here this spins freely, but with this, it hooks it up to the motor, so it has the drive ability. So anyway, <clears throat> I uh, stacked a couple washers. I didn't feel like cutting the um, spindle down, so I stacked a couple washers in there, but it works fine. And uh, yeah, again, the long side is on the inside, so that your offset is positions the wheel and tire in the right spot, as it would be from the original setup. And these are nice rubber tires, so it'll get plenty of good traction on the ground. So again, there, there it is. The uh, wheels that I use, just for reference, um, let's see. Yeah, th these are them. I got them at Ace Hardware. They're for a hand truck, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah. So why again did we end up putting those wheels and tires on there? What did you do in order for us to do that? I clean up the dog poop and I did a good job for the classroom and doing the classwork and everything. What kind of, what grades do you have at your school right now? Good ones. How good?
Wow, it never would have done that before, huh? Never. <laughs> 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 